Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got a beautiful setting tonight for our Christmas Carol. It snowed here today in Huntington, and um, I wanna see if you all can guess the name of this hymn before we sing it at the end. So I'm gonna tell you about the history, and I was gonna try to save this one closer to Christmas, but it was too good not to share. So this hymn involves an atheist, a Santa impersonator, a missing hand, and war. So, it all begins in France, and the year is 1843. I feel like a little bit like Sophia and the Golden Girl saying, picture it, France, 1843. Anyway, there was a priest who they had recently done renovations to the church organ, and he wanted to, a piece of music to commemorate this. So, he looks around for a, um, a poet to help verse some um, Christmas music for him. This guy, whose name is Capo, I'm probably butchering the, you know, I'm a West Virginia hick here, so. Um, he composed this carol. He is the atheist involved in this. So, um, and it was called, it translated to Midnight Christians. Um, and the missing hand comes in with him because he is, his hand, right hand, was actually shot off by a childhood friend accidentally. So um, he went about through life with just the left hand. So Capo writes this um, Christmas carol and translated, it's called Midnight Christians. Adolph Adams composed the music for this carol and it was very, very popular in France. But once they learned that an atheist did it, they shut it down. They said, no way, no way, the church condemned it. They said, this will be banned from French liturgy. So, it was still popular, though, and it was sung a lot outside the church. So, um, enter John Sullivan Dwight. He is an American minister. He's also a music critic and a Santa impersonator. You have to look this guy up. Um, John Sullivan Dwight. So, anyway, he translated this carol to the English version and the song that we know. Now, where war comes involved is, this is legend now. So it's December the 24th, 1870, and it's the Franco-Prussian War. So we've got the Germans and the Russians. I mean, Germans and Russians, German and the French, excuse me. And um, the French started singing this very song because it had been in their hearts uh, for a while, since 1843, and um, it moved the German troops so much that they began singing a Martin Luther hymn. And um, they decided to call a 24-hour truce so that both sides could enjoy Christmas together. This is awesome, isn't it? I love the history of this song. So um, this song, if you haven't guessed it yet, that's kind of hard clues there. We are going to do O Holy Night. Now, I'm going to be singing the higher version, so for you of the singing for me, just blend right in there with me. Any which way you sing it, it will be beautiful. And I dug out my old pal hymnal. Remember these that we used to bring in church? <laughs> I still have a few. So, we're going to sing the first and the last stanza. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. When 
Christ was born. O Lord, divine, O night, O night divine. The second verse is especially for our time right now. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chain shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name. All oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we. Let all within us praise his holy name. Just think, an atheist wrote that song. And isn't that a great Christmas story on a night like tonight? So enjoy your evening. If there's a particular song you all want to know about, and um, put it down in the comments below. And share with me your Christmas memories of um, being in church and singing out of hymnals and um, what your favorite Christmas hymn is. I'd love to hear all of them. Have a wonderful, wonderful cold evening. Enjoy a hot cup of tea and a hot cup of soup. Merry, Merry Christmas in the name of Christ.